when I was practicing the piano and I really got in the groove and there was a, a, a music that inspired me and I knew familiar, I would be transformed. That's what meditation is. Meditation is doing the dishes and you are listening to music and your heart is full and you do the whole pan full of dishes without even recognizing it because you're transported into a power and activity and energy of God when you're running, when you're, when you're taking care of the laundry. Anything that is sort of mindless activity where you're not in the worry and the fret and the anxiousness of, of the world, then your heart and your mind comes to a place of peace and you are plugged in, linked in, you are transformed because it is in the silence of our minds that we find the peace of God. And when we do this, as we do the consciousness conditioners, starting with a minute, just a minute a day to say, Malkuta. Ah, I can plug in to the power of God. Malkuta. I am in the presence of God. I am feeling that energy, that consciousness. I am transformed because I'm focusing not on the outward things, but on the inward most connection. I'm stilling my mind. And as we mature in this prayer process of meditation, we can find that, that meditation overcomes us, and we find that we want to spend more time in the silence, in contemplation, in that <clears throat> equipose of light. We find that inner light. But it doesn't matter whether we use words or not. It matters that we devote the time, the energy, the focus to the divine in us, through us, and as us. Jesus said, ask and it will be given. Seek and you will find. Knock and the door will be open. Ask. Why does he say ask? Because if I don't ask, I don't know what I'm looking for, quite frankly. Oh, I just want to be one with everything. Yeah? Do you really want to be one with everything? I have to say, sometimes I get a little body loss because I, I, my consciousness, when I was doing a lot of work about being one with everything, I kept getting bigger. Bigger. <laughs> So there's somewhere in here that I've got a little thought that I'm one with everything means I'm going to enlarge myself. I don't need that. I'm slim, trim, happy, healthy, prosperous, and blessed. I look good and I feel good. And I feel good now. So that's what I really want to put my energy into. And the stuff that comes up when I say, eh, it's not true for me. It can't be true. It's not true. That's the part that I need to do the inner forgiveness work because I can change my thoughts. I'm a creative being. I have the power of where I'm going to focus my energy. What am I going to put my energy into? Where am I? What's the vibration that I'm going to reach? Now some of us, they find that, that sitting in the presence and feeling that connection is easy and effortless and we join hands and we join in consciousness and we do that. And others, it's like, how am I going to ever sit still enough to do that? Get out your prayer practice. Use your words. Begin where you are. Because as you begin where you are, more is revealed. There's a lovely little story that I like. It's about the little boy who wants to go out to the barn and, and it's dark and it's scary and, but, there, but there's a baby calf being born and he really wants to go out and look at it. And so the father says, well, you know, come on out. It's easy. He can yell, it's time now. Come on out. It's time now. And he's like, I can't go out there. I can't go out there. It's scary. It's dark. 
And he says, pick up the lantern. And he said, okay. So he picks up the lantern, and he walks to the edge of the light. And what happens when I walk to the edge of the light? More is revealed. Because I carry the light with me. And the light shows my path and allows me to go farther and deeper and higher than I've ever been willing. But my first step is a Malkuta step. It's I can take that first step. I can. So wherever you are is where you start in this Malkuta energy. Ask, seek, knock, trusting that the universe, God, the good, omnipotent, mother, father, God, will respond. Trust. Jesus said in Mark, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and it will be yours. Why? Because if we believe that it's not here, it's never going to be here, it ain't going to ever come to happen. Because that energy, that secret fear, is bigger than everything else. It gets you out of the Malkuta energy, the I can energy of the divine. Seek it. Find it. Look for it. And you will experience the pearl of great price. There is a teaching story that came across my desk yesterday, so... I, I don't have it written down, but it's such a good story, I've got to tell you that. So this young man is driving out in the country, and he is seeing, uh, watching a farmer go through and till his crops. And the farmer gets out, and he kind of tries to figure out what's, what the, um, what the uh, machine is hit. And he lifts, lifts up this clod of dirt, and he kind of knocks it against the machine. And it's like it has this glint. It's red and it's beautiful. And the boy who's been driving by, he gets out of his car and he runs over and he says, Oh my God, what is that? What is that? And, he's, and the farmer says, I'm not sure. Looks pretty good to me. And the boy says, Yes, it looks wonderful. Great. And he says, boy, I'd love to find something like that. And the farmer looks at the rock. He looks at the boy, looks at the rock. And he says, here, have it. And the boy just takes up the rock and he runs out. And he says, I am convinced that I have, that I have just been given an uncut ruby. It's gorgeous. It's brilliant. It's wonderful. He goes home as he says thank you to the farmer on the way. And he goes home and he locks the door and he spends all night looking at it, dreaming about it, wondering how much it is, what's the value of this. And he goes to sleep fitfully. And in the morning, he finds that he is led back to that farmer, to that field, and he finds the farmer in the field again. And he goes back with his ruby and says, what I really want is I want the consciousness that can give this away. It's not the things. It's the consciousness that knows Malkuta. I can. I live in response to the universal life force presence within me, surrounding me, enfolding me, empowering me, and enlivening me so that I am the power. I am the presence. I am the activity. And in this moment, I can give it away. Consciousness conditioners are the key. Consciousness conditioners. Am I willing to fill my mind with the good that I seek or that which I want and are afraid someday, maybe, if I'm a good little girl or a good little boy, I'm going to get it? Now, Kutah.
the name of God within you is I am. I am divinely guided in all that I do. I am committed to you. My body knows its perfection. I am slim, trim, toned, and flexible. I am enjoying the challenge of new technology. I am the love of God and expression. I am living the law of love. And love always wins. I give that that I am alive, energized by the mind of God, and I give thanks because I know where my source is. In this consciousness conditions, in this prayer practice, holding a vision for somebody else, I visualize all that I pray for as whole, healthy, prospered, and fulfilled. I behold them as the children of God that they are, blessed with inherent wisdom, strength, life, and energy. Instead of focusing on the appearances, I concentrate on affirming the truth of their being. Whatever the need, I lift up my thoughts and see the solution, holding a vision of spiritual perfection and absolute good. For prosperity, I affirm abundance. For guidance, I behold the brightness and the clarity of God's light. I place my faith in the Christ power active in every person. And from a fountain of faith, I pray a prayer of thanks for answered prayer and trust the outcome to God. I hold a vision of this community prospered, blessed, guided, and directed. And as I hold this vibration and others join me in this vision, guess what's going to happen? <clears throat> Malkuta. So it is, and so we let it be. Amen. So I invite you to breathe into this moment. <clears throat> Releasing and letting go anything in your lap, putting your feet flat on the floor, sitting straight in the chair, holding your energy soft so that the energy can move through and in this, the blessings, the love, the light, of God. I allow this energy to flow in and through me now. From the top of my head, I relax and soften. I let this energy flow over my shoulders and down my arms and out my palms. I feel the tingling in consciousness. I know spiritual connection. I breathe it in and I breathe it out. And the energy moves down and through every aspect of my internal organs, surrounding, enfolding, empowering the light and the love. If I have any aspect of my physical body that causes me any concern, I just surround it with God's light and love. I embrace it. I ask, what are you here to teach me about? Teaching me how to love myself. Being the light that I am, I am receptive. Breathing that energy in and through. It goes down past my hips, through my legs, through my strong and flexible knees, out past my ankles, and through.
through the soles of my feet. For where I stand, live, move, and have my being is in God. The power, the presence, the activity of God. overflowing with that connection to source, Malku Ta, right where I stand, where I sit, where I live and move and have my being, I stand in God consciousness. I am filled to overflowing. I share my enthusiasm, my joy, my connection with Source by extending it out to those people who are here gathered, to those people who are in my heart, to the people around this blue, beautiful blue-green planet. Wherever there's a need, I see the universe rushing in to fill that need before it's even identified. God, good, power, presence, activity of love. I see us all enfolded in God's love, God's light, and the kingdom of God, the Malkuta of I can energy reverberates, energizes, empowers, and enlightens. I extend this energy out, in, through, breathing it in, Breathing it out. Now, Kuta, I can. Plugged in, turned on, tuned in to God. I can. Breathing it in, breathing it out. I allow it to be. So it is, and so we let it be. Amen. So I'm going to invite you, if you're willing, to hold someone else in prayer for your name, as much of your name as you want, any way that you'd be willing to be connected. And when the ushers come forward to do the offering, they're going to have a basket. You put it in, and at the end of the service, on the way out, you'll pick up another one. If you put it in, you can take it out, just like what, and all is truly well.
ushers come forward. We're going to prepare our tithes and offerings. Holding a consciousness of gratitude for that which we have received and a good that is unfolding in and through us now. You got a question on your face. Order of service. I know. I don't know what it is, but this is what we're going to do because this is the time to do it. <laughs> we'll skip over one and we'll do the other. So, as you prepare your tithes and offerings, as you prepare your prayer slip of your willingness to receive, so you got to get it in before the end of the service so you can be part of the process. So we dedicate this energy in the service of a consciousness, and he's going to do that for us. So as we do this together, divine love flowing through us, Blesses and multiplies all that we are, all that we have, all that we give, and all that we receive. I give in love and I trust God. So I'm going to invite our drum circle to do the thank you song. Could we do that next? Mm -hmm. we can. That would be great. You'll have to find it. Not that one. us to do the work that is ours to do as we celebrate love, co-create community, and transform as many lives as possible. And we dedicate this in service of our mission. 